Hey everyone, fire is something that you can use in many kind of games. I made this fire using particle 2D and without any code. Creating some realistic fire may seem difficult but it's actually very easy. First you need to download this image pack made by Kenny. I have created a lightning some time ago, there also I have used the same image pack. Link will be in the description. Once you download it, you will find these two fire images. So add both of these images in Godot. Now in Godot, create a new scene and under it add a particle 2D node. First we are going to set up a fire one image in the texture slot. Then in the process material set the new particle material. Now first we will set the emission shape to sphere. Then in the direction set it to minus 1 in the y axis and spread to 50. Then we will come under the gravity section and there we will set minus 300 in the y axis. Now give it some initial velocity of 100 and velocity randomness to 1. The more random it will be the more real it will look. Now add some angular momentum of 32 and linear acceleration of 100. Since this image is quite large, so we decrease it by 0.5 and set the scale curve to new curve texture and then click on curve and make it something like this which goes from 0 to 1. Then in the color, select a new gradient texture and then add a new gradient. And inside it, click the last handle and make it yellow and then make it transparent. Now before that, add a new handle and make it yellow but reduce the transparency. And click the left handle and make it little warm color like orange. Well, this particle is completed. Now in the scene tree, duplicate the particle by clicking Ctrl plus D. Now first, change the image by adding fire to sprite in the texture slot. Here, leave everything the same. We just need to change the color of the gradient. But before we start changing it, click on this drop icon and make it unique. If we don't do that, then whatever we make changes here will also change the other particle. Now here, take the handle in between and make it a little orange. Now add another handle in between these two and make it bright yellow. Now take the leftmost handle and make it red. And now our main fire is completed. The next thing we were gonna do is to create some smoke coming out of the fire. For this, go back again to the image pack and take this smoke one image from it. Then import the image to Godot and now duplicate any one of the particles again. Now again change the image in the texture slot with our smoke image. I will put the smoke in between these two fires. Now since we want our smoke to go much higher than our fire, so we set the lifetime to 1.5 second. Now make this particle material unique as well. Now in the direction, we will change the spread to 17. So the smoke will come more from the center. Now we are just going to change the color gradient, which start orange and at last goes to transparent. Our smoke is also now ready. Now we are going to add some particle which will come out of flame. For this, you will need some rectangle image. I created this image on my own. But if you want, you can use one of the trace image that come with the image pack. So after getting the image, add it to the game. Now duplicate the smoke and name it background. Now in the texture slot, I will add this image I created. Now again, don't forget to make it unique. Then under the direction, make the spread to 50 again. And in the scale property, we are only going to change the size curve. But before that, make the curve to unique again and also reset it. Then again, select the new curve texture. And now since my image is still too big, I will make it start from 0.5 and end it up with something like 0.3. Now just place this background particle below everything. And we are done with the particles. And now it's time to add some glow in the fire. So for that, add a new world environment node. And in the environment, select new environment. Then come to background and set it to canvas. This is important. Now come a little bit down and enable the glow. And also change the blend mode to screen. Then also enable the bicubic upscale. This will make the glow smooth. Now first go to a background particle and under visibility click on modulate. Now switch to raw mode and put the value 8.5 in red, 5 in green and 1 in blue. Then coming to the second fire in behind, again go to the modulate and here we will put 3 in red, 1 in green and 1 in blue. We will leave the smoke as it is because smoke don't glow. Now come to the front fire and open modulate. Then switch to raw mode and there we will set 2.5 in red. 1.5 in green and 1 in blue. And congratulations, your fire is created. Now add a color rack and set its colors to black. Then place it below everything so you can see the glow more clearly. Similarly, I created two more fire by just changing its color gradient and modulate property. Now one thing I wanna say, if you are wondering how I came up with this value or how I know what value to put in different properties, then the fact is, I also don't know. This value I got just by putting different kind of value and then seeing how its effect. It take many trial to get the best result. So if you don't like the glow or its color or even don't know some certain property, then try to change the value and see how it affects. Maybe you can create some better effect than this. 
all right so that's all for today if you found this video helpful then like and subscribe and also if you have any doubt or any suggestion write down in the comment section link of the image pack is in the description so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one